DRC is rapidly advancing indoor air quality testing with the first commercially available air test specifically for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Back with us again today is TRC's Dave Alam and John Bowser to look at and discuss the testing of this system. Dave, how did they develop this measurement? Wayne, in our first discussion about the sensor-based monitoring system, we, we indicated that we were responding to building owners' interest in measuring SARS-CoV-2 specifically. We knew from the research literature that uh, researchers had been measuring the virus back as early as the initial SARS outbreak. It's, the technique has been available within the research community for some time. But what's, what has been difficult is really the a commercially available solution. So what we did was we looked at a range of available sampling methods. We looked at uh, some of the leading commercial laboratories that support the required analyses. And we contacted them about how we could work together, how we could collaborate to advance this measurement method. And that's what we did. We have developed a very simple method that relies on proven sampling and analytical technology. So, so John, how does this measurement process go? How does it work? Wayne, as, as Dave mentioned, you know, we looked at the literature, we looked at methods that were used during the original SARS uh, virus outbreak, and we saw that some of these devices were commercially available. And we actually have had quite a bit of experience for other types of measurements using the, the same or, or similar devices. So we, we purchased, we, we looked at a method uh, where they were collecting on a Teflon membrane filter, extracting that filter, and then doing an analysis with uh, polymerase chain reaction uh, uh, instruments. So we, uh, we purchased a few of the, the filters, happened to have uh, one of the setups here. These are, this is simply a 37 millimeter uh, Teflon membrane uh, filter cartridge with a standard personnel sampling pump. So we collect a sample over a period of perhaps eight hours, uh, take the filter holder apart, remove the filter, put it in a solution that will preserve the virus particles and ship that uh, to the PCR laboratory, where they then uh, do the standard PCR analysis to see if they can identify the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus. So Dave, what are the, the potential applications for this measurement method? Well, we, we see very specific applications for the method. We, we don't see it being used in a, you know, a back to work campaign that focuses on verification of cleaning and disinfection. The turnaround time really just won't support that. But where we see it working is on, in an ongoing program to monitor the workplace. If you think about that, outbreak of COVID-19 that occurred at the meatpacking plant in which almost 400 workers were asymptomatic for the disease. A technology like this that's measuring the air in common places where the workers uh, congregate or pass through, it could provide information about rising levels of the virus in the atmosphere. That information could then be used by the facility manager or operator to change operations at the facility or take more active steps to monitor the worker population. So we see this as a having a very specific and somewhat narrow application, but even so it's an important application that we see that clients are wanting. So how long would it take John to turn around uh, the samples to get it back to the owner so that they can make some decisions? As I mentioned, the, the sample time is typically eight hours. At the end of the, the sampling period, or at the end of the day, we would recover the, the, the filter, uh, put it in the preservative solution in a vial, and FedEx that overnight to one of our laboratories. Once it's received at the lab the following day, the results are typically available in 24 to 48 hours. Thank you, gentlemen. This has been a fascinating and informative discussion. Thanks so much for making the time to talk to us today. Oh, it's our pleasure, Wayne. Thank you very much. Wayne, thank you. Yes, it's our pleasure.